friends. Friends. I'm back at it again, girl. This time I'm going to Aldi with $20, okay? And I'm going to Costco with 50. Girl, when have I ever gone to Costco and just spent under $50? I don't know if I've ever, I don't think I've ever done that. <laughs> so that's gonna be tough. Or just $70 in total for um, my family for the week. Now, let me go ahead and give you a disclaimer. I do have meats in my freezer. But there are some other things that I do need to get. I am going to get some chicken wings um, and then stuff for my kids' lunches and fresh fruit and stuff like that. Um, and then a few things that I need from Costco that I wouldn't normally get every single month. So far, so good with this cash envelope, girl. So far, so good. I will be giving a full update of how my week went, what meals I, I cooked, and how everything went on my other channel, Moms and Money, which, by the way, if you have not subscribed to, girl, what are you doing? Go subscribe. Um, you can tap this eye right here to learn more well let me show you what's on my list here's my list do you think i can get all of this stuff for 20 dollars from aldi i don't think so but it's not as much stuff at costco i just don't want to spend any more than 70 dollars today now i don't need anything else like my normal big costco haul for the month i really don't need anything else because you know what i'm realizing guys every month i would go to costco and spend around 300 bucks and it was just like a routine i would just get it you know um and i'm starting to realize that those little luxuries that i liked like um my pike place k cups that's 35 dollars or um the apple juice that i get at costco i mean it would last me for the month but it was 8.99 like those little luxuries i call them luxuries because you know they are that's expensive and i i'm getting out doing this i'm like getting out of the habit of just getting stuff because i'm just so used to getting it you know what i mean so that's really why my costco list is not that long i'm only getting the things that i don't want to compromise on like i still want my kids to eat the organic string cheese the cornflakes is the best deal at costco because it's such a large box and it's cheaper the spinach is the best deal at costco the organic spinach is the best deal and then my organic chicken that i get at costco i don't want to compromise on that but i still think i will be able to stay in the 400 dollars for the whole month and that's breakfast lunch and dinner for my family of four so okay that's enough of me chatting aldi is now open girl because i just wait here right at nine o'clock i'm in aldi ready to do my shopping so let's get in there and see what they got okay so i'm in here it's raining really bad outside but um a lot of you guys so many of you guys congratulated me on not getting the planner i'm not gonna lie i thought about that for a couple of days because i wanted that planner so bad a lot of you guys tagged me on instagram by the way if you're not following me girl follow me a lot of you guys tagged me and said that you got the planner and you loved it so it was like oh my gosh i want the planner but i'm proud of myself i just said no a lot of you guys just said um take pictures of the pages that you like and then add it to your own planner which is a great idea okay so let me go ahead and get my fruits let's see if they have the key low carb bread on here okay i got my running calculator here um on my phone so i don't <laughs> you know overspend because i do pretty much know how much each thing will cost around how much it'll cost at costco so definitely gonna pick up some manner oranges though my kids love them they're almost done they only have a couple left in the bag from last week so now i'm gonna go over and get my organic fruits something that was really good that i liked a lot was this hard salami um i me and my husband primarily ate this my husband put it in their lunch a little bit but what i did is i like fried them up in the pan um, and then I'd have it with scrambled eggs. It's such a great keto breakfast. Um, and so I really like this. I know it has nitrates in it, but it is what it is. Um, and it's $4.99. You get this huge one pound bag. So I'm going to see if there are any other nitrate free options over in the um, deli section. All right. So I think I'm going to try the bacon here. It's only $6.79 as opposed to the $18. Usually it's $15.99 to $18.99 at Costco. So I'm going to try this. Bolton Farms Hickory Smoked Bacon on sale for $6.79. Right now I'm over $20. I know I am. I know I am, but we're going with it. Um, these are everything, these are all the things on my list. 
you're just not gonna have as much to spend at Costco. A lot of you guys are like, Gia, don't go down the aisle of shame, don't tempt yourself. I just can't not go down there. Now I can go down and attempt to not to buy anything, but girls should just not go down altogether. It's just like, what are you doing with your life? You know, so I'm just going to quickly, 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 quickly take a look. Look at these um, holiday Febreze air fresheners and car scents. They are on sale for $2.97 each. This is expensive though, $2.97 for this, because you can get a pack of like 12 or 15 of them from Costco sometimes. Of course, it's not this cranberry scent. Um, I want to say for six or seven dollars, so that's a no to that. This is nice. Two bushel tall laundry basket, $7.99. Nice. Of course, the planners are gone. Of course. They have, oh wow, look at this 10 drawer rolling cart. It's like a craft cart. $24.99. They have one in the white or the white drawers, clear looking drawers with the black metal. And this has the white metal and multicolored drawers. That's really, that's a nice find. This kid's little saucer chair is so cute. Which is, I don't know how much it is, but I think it's just absolutely adorable with the little LOLs on there. Look at this ear and forehead monitor, thermometer, $24.99. EMS massage device, okay. Take that back, they have one parent planner left. Was it meant for me? Was it meant for me for $7.99? No. Nope. Walking away. This is cute, but kind of expensive. It's a magnet, four piece magnetic wall mount. $16.99. So, I was on the Aldi website last night looking at the Aldi finds for the week. I know, I know. I just was. They had this. Do you see that? It's like a wall calendar. I want this for my office. It's gold, it's pretty. Guess how much it is, sis? Take a wild guess. $3.99. What? They don't have it yet, though. She, the, the lady just told me on Tuesdays is when the new All Defined products come out, because I see some of the other things that were on the website already out, but it just depends on when they get the shipment in, but usually on Tuesdays they have it all out, so I'll have to come back tomorrow. It's Monday right now, but I'm gonna have to come back tomorrow. All right, I'm done with everything on my list. Let me check it out. I know it's gonna be more than $20, especially because of the bacon, but I'm not getting the bacon from Costco, so I'm not gonna spend as much. I think I'm gonna spend under $70 today because your grill isn't on it this week. I need some more sprinkles because I usually make my girls pancake sprinkles or sprinkle pancakes or sprinkle waffles a couple times a week. All out of sprinkles. This is $2.99, but look at how much you get. They have all different kinds. Those, those are a little bit too big. I would just get something like this. I think it's cute. All right, I changed my mind. I'm not gonna get these because first of all, it says Best Buy October 2020 and that's, what, 10 months from now? I don't think I'll use all of these. It takes literally years to get through one container. And then I was looking at the ingredients and it says shellac. Maybe I shouldn't have looked at ingredients for sprinkles. They probably all have shellac in them, but that's just turned me off. To the point where I'm just going to go ahead and put it back. All right, let's talk about coffee, okay? Because here's what happened. You know, the Pike Flakes K-Cups were all out. If it's not on sale, it's $35. With it on sale, it's still $29.99 at Costco. Overall, that is not a part of the $100 per person per month challenge. So we're gonna have to just use my reusable K-Cups. I have a reusable K-Cup that we can use. And I'm just gonna go back to like filling that up because first of all, it's expensive for those K-Cups. And second of all, it's bad for the environment. I had been saying this for the past couple of months and now's a perfect time to transition into using ground coffee again. Any suggestions on ground coffee, leave a comment down below and let me know. I don't know, I'm not a coffee snob. I just like for it to taste good and I drink my Bulletproof coffee being on keto. So let me see, let me see what they got here. Has anybody tried? this um these coffees before no this looks good i think it's the packaging that makes it look good oh it's a light roast my husband does not like light roast he likes at least a medium roast hmm here's a medium roast here i don't know if this is good or not it's organic that's a plus right Anytime I see 
organic. Um, but wait, does it say USDA certified organic? Is that, do they, I don't know anything about what I'm talking about right now when it comes to coffee, but leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. But I think I'm gonna try that. The other options are, ooh, apple crisp. I bet you that's good. Flavored coffee. I know the flavored coffees aren't as good, right, for you. Single ground, single ground. What is that? Single origin. I don't know what that means. I don't know anything about what that means. Leave a comment down below and let me know. Any of these, the business here, are any of these good? Yes, and I get this. The, this is $3.99. This one's $4.49. I love the Guatemala. It's a medium roast. Mm, what do you think about this? This one good? One, that's too dark because the dark roast tears my stomach up. I just cannot do it for the vine. I can do a medium roast though, but should I get this one or should I get this one? Which one should I get? Now this bag is a lot smaller than this bag. Oh no, they're both 12 ounces. I guess it's just the packaging. It's a little bit fatter, this one. Alright, I'm gonna try... I don't know. You'll see when I get home. Then we have this one, Simply Nature. Um, now this is USDA certified organic, which is good. It's a medium roast. It's the same price. Should I try this one? I don't know. Peru or Honduras or Guatemala. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, these are the beans. No, I can't. We don't have a round, like, something to grind it with, so... That, so I'm just gonna go with this. This reef storage bag, it's $7.99. It's actually really nice, right? Not bad, and then they have the gift wrap storage. I already have one of these at home. This is $9.99. This is all the video from Aldi. Oh boy, after I'm finished checking out, because um, you know I use my cash envelopes, which by the way, if you're interested in learning more about these cash yeah. envelopes that I use, there's a link in the description box. Um, I put, I fold my um, receipt and put the cash in here so that I can do my reconciliation when I get home. All right, y'all. So I am at Costco. This is not my normal Costco. This is a different Costco. So I hope that they have everything that I need and in the price range that I'm, I'm very familiar with with my normal Costco that I go to. So all I'm going to get from Costco is uh, cheese sticks, organic cheese sticks, eggs. Um, not going to get the bacon because I got it from Aldi. Uh, some organic chicken wings and some spinach. So, with that said, let's get in there and see what they got. So this Costco setup is a little different. Um, like for instance, like these hangers, they're $13.99, but they haven't been $13.99 at my Costco in a really long time. They've always been like $7 or $8.99. Maybe that's because they were on sale for so long. I don't know. And then these two two pack uh, toilet bowl cleaners for $17.99. That's really high to me. That's not the normal price of those. I don't know. Let me get in there. Let me just focus, girl, and get the things that I need and get home. And I'll just have to get to my normal Costco later on this month. I love this couch. They had it. They have this couch out or this sectional out every January. It is so nice. Um, it has three power recliners. Okay. It has a cup holder here, and then like chargers. What? Like a little charging station. I love this couch. It's $19.99.99. Literally the past two years, every January, I'm like, this has got to be my couch for my family room. Now, I don't know if this is real. It says a gray top green leather. It doesn't, I don't know. It feels like it's like a textured leather. Um, let's see if I can get up close. I don't know. Leave a comment down below if you have any ex experience with this kind of fabric. Aesthetically, it's not like gorgeous, but it doesn't look like one of those 1980s sectional. But this just seems so functional and comfortable for my family that I just feel like it'd be so good. This is a pretty chair that I can get like maybe for my office. It's like just like a little sitting chair because my office is pretty big. Um, $199.99. I can't remember her name, but she left me all these suggestions like these specific desks from Wayfair. I could see your uh, little avatar picture in my head, but I can't remember what your name is, but thank you so much for sending me all those recommendations. I'm definitely gonna look into Wayfair for my 
If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm redoing my whole office. I need a new desk, um, like workstations, bookshelves, all that kind of stuff um, for my office. And she just gave me all these great suggestions because she knows that I am designer impaired. So if you have any suggestions like that, just leave them down below. These are cute, aren't they? You only get two baskets and it's $4 off, $15.99. And this is a pretty tray as well. I want to get a new bed for my bedroom as well. Bro, I just want everything new, don't I? This is really pretty, isn't it? It's the um, Thomasville Upholster King bed. It's $5.99.99. Here's what it looks like. I don't like that it's so low though. Like this is here and it's like so low to the ground. I like a higher bed. Wow, well, the organic strawberries are sky high, $11.99. But what's funny is this is the same exact Wish Farms um, strawberries that I got from Aldi. Now it's a slightly smaller container, but it was only, I think, $3.99 as opposed to $6.30. I didn't get any blueberries from, um, from Aldi. Um, but I don't want to, like, it's like I have to alternate it. Ava loves strawberries. She loves raspberries. And then I'll throw in either pineapples or blueberries. So this week we have pineapple. So then next week I'll get blueberries. So let me go ahead and get my little mushrooms. Okay, girl, I'm, I'm doing a lot right now. But I do want some mushrooms. Five forty nine. dollars $5.49 for the organic Bella. Baby Bella mushrooms. Now I love a good Baby Bella mushroom, but there's nothing wrong with a white mushroom as well. Three forty-nine. All right, I'm gonna go for the three forty-nine. I like to use these um, just like with sautéed onions and peppers and mushrooms, and then sometimes I'll put them in my um, eggs, my scrambled eggs or my omelet. It's definitely a better better price to get. Um, your organic spinach or power grains or whatever from here because uh, it's organic. It's $5.49 for 16 ounces, whereas at Aldi, it's, um, I got two five ounce containers for $5 because they're two fifty dollars each. So it's just a better price here. And I think today I'm gonna get power grains as opposed to just, um, as opposed to just spinach, just to switch it up a little get, bit for my smoothie. And then also I can have, um, use this as salad turns out the organic chicken wings are cheap and i like the party wings they're already cut it's not like a full chicken wing um because i plan on making these on saturdays and friday nights when um you know it's something easy because usually when we eat out it's always like wings or something like that and i can make it myself and i can keto fry it for myself so i'm gonna go ahead and get a pack of these they're 259 per pound i just tried this Small piece though, girl, because this is not keto friendly. This sweet beef jerky, it is so good. Now, it's not dried, as you can see, it's like soft, it's not dried out. But when I tell you, girl, this was so good. This is so good, but it's not keto friendly, girl. Because I know myself, I can eat like a quarter of this bag in one sitting, and that would be a lot of carbs. Because as you can see, nine grams of carbs in one ounce and there's 14 serving sizes in this whole bag but this is really good and it's really high at 13.99 i really want to get some cheese now here's the thing last week i said i was doing dairy yeah. piquito and i did girl until i cracked and put a little cheese on my burger now i've been doing well with keto and everything but girl dairy free keto is a whole nother level it's a whole nother level of commitment and I just don't know if I'm there yet. Now, I've been doing well, I'm not putting any heavy cream in my coffee. I've just been doing my um, vanilla unsweetened coconut milk. So that's been nice. I haven't been bloated. I haven't had a headache in a week. Like it's been really nice. I'm gonna do a separate video about this that I'm doing this month. But at the same time, when I scramble an egg, do I wanna sprinkle a little cheese on there? I sure do. Okay, I sure do. So, um, yeah. I want to get some cheese. I don't want to spend $9.99 on some cheese, though. You know, like this is good. See, I used to just pop these and eat them when I was, whenever I needed a quick snack or something for keto. And then it starts getting to be too much and addictive, you know? So, I was hoping they had the other sliced cheese here that I can get. Then my kids can use it as a sandwich and I can use it from time to time, like I said, when I want to scramble an egg or anything like that. But I don't 
see it. Here it is, it's $6.99. It's a lot of cheese, I know, but I'm just gonna get it, girl. Like I said, my kids like to just eat it, and we can use it for sandwiches for lunch. I always go back and forth whether I should get organic eggs or just the regular eggs, because at the end of the day, they're not pasture-raised eggs, right? Educate me, correct me if I'm wrong, and I know some of y'all will get in the comments and correct me. Um, is there really that big of a difference? I used to just get eggs from my local farmer, but he doesn't do it anymore because unfortunately like a fox or something like tore all of his chickens up and so he doesn't sell them anymore, unfortunately. But they were the best tasting eggs. And honestly, I can't really tell the difference in the taste, whether it's organic or or just this, these cage free when I buy it from the store. But I can definitely tell a difference from my local chicken farmer. So I'm just going to go ahead and go with the regular cage free eggs. So this is the bacon I typically get, right? It is so good, it's our favorite bacon. Applewood smoked center cut turkey bacon. You see, it's a little bit wider than the one that I had, but there's it's a double pack, but it's $15.69. That's actually cheap. Sometimes I paid as much as $18.99 for it. Um, but then they have this thick sliced center cut bacon and a lot of you guys said that this is good. It's $10.99, but it's still $10.99. <laughs> so really I could have, it is cheaper to get this here instead of the one pack that I got from um, Aldi that was $6.79. But if you're you know counting your pennies and you just want bacon for the week, it's a better buy to just get it at Aldi. Orange juice is a bet much better deal here. Even the organic orange juice at Aldi is, I want to say $3.99, so much better price. I meant it's a much better price at Aldi. They don't have the organic string cheese. Oh, they do. Never mind, they do. Organic string cheese, $7.99. Listen, I try to buy organic when I can, but like I pick and choose my battles. Okay, it's not like I'm shopping, um, you know, all organic. I just try to do, you know, what I can. So that's $7.99 for that pack. Or you can buy the polio string cheese for $9.99. I think it's a bigger pack though. Let's see. Yeah, I think you get more in there. I'm getting more than what was on my list, but there were all things that we're completely out of. So, um, and that I know is on my meal plan for this week. And then um, I will make my meal plan. I, I try to meal plan every two weeks. I do a two week meal plan. It's just too much to do a month. So, um, everything I got though is included for this week's meal plan, and then I will meal make my next two weeks meal plan around the things that I've gotten here. Let's just hope that um, I'm thinking I should have enough because I didn't realize that the chicken wings were so cheap. They're organic chicken wings. I was expecting to pay closer to the price range. The chicken tenderloins, the organic chicken tenderloins. I didn't realize they were so cheap. So, let's get up to the restaurant and see. Self -checkout. All right, my friends, I am back home. Let me show you what I got from Aldi first. So this is everything I got from Aldi. I want you guys to guess how much I spent because I don't know, I'm looking at this now like, mm, I don't know, but let's go through everything. I got some orange juice, some organic apple juice. Uh, this was $3.99, the mandarins, uh, the sweet potatoes, these iced oatmeal cookies for my girls. Uh, strawberries, raspberries, and bananas for my girls. The, the mandarin oranges are for them too. Some more zucchini because I like to make myself zucchini noodles. My kids love zucchini noodles and so does my husband. I got us this coffee. I ended up getting the Guatemala. I got the bacon and I got the um, Italian dry salami, a different pack of salami this time. It's a little bit thinner. I feel like I could still fry it up in the pan and it's still gonna be good. This still has nitrates in it, but it doesn't have BHT in it. It's like one nitrate as opposed to two different kinds of nitrates that the other salami had. How much do you think I spent? I spent a grand total of $38.26, okay? Um, am I disappointed? No, but does this look like $40 worth of stuff? I mean, I feel like this is like a Trader Joe's haul that would be $40 with this little stuff, but you know, I did get bacon, I did get the salami, I got organic raspberries, I got a lot of fruits, and then the two juices. Um, the most expensive thing by far was the bacon and the salami. Those were the two most expensive things. The apple juice was $2.29, the coffee was $4.49, that was expensive too, so. I mean, it is what it is. It was $38, okay? Now let's go on to Costco. This is what I got from Costco. Take a wild guess. Let me know what you, how much you think I spent. 
um, leave it in the comments. So let's uh, get started here. I got some eggs. I ended up getting the cage-free eggs. Uh, have, these are $3.99, I think. The organic string cheese, some sliced cheddar cheese, girl, because I need some cheese in my eggs. This will last me a while. Some non bread for our homemade pizza night. This is what my husband and my children will use for pizza. Um, if I do homemade pizza, it'll have to be like with that cheese, that kind of cheese crust, especially when I'm trying to cut back on dairy. So it's like. I don't know if I'll be doing that, but this is great. It freezes well, and I like to get it from Costco because it's so much cheaper. Because at the grocery store, two pieces of non bread is $4. So this is like, I think, $4.99, and you get all of these pieces. I got the organic um, chicken party wings, three packs. So that's three meals for my family. Um, some more bread, because my husband called me while I was at the store, and he said he uh, took the last loaf out of the freezer. So I got that. That's $4.49. Got the power greens that I showed you guys in the store. And I got some mushrooms all right so let me explain before i tell you how much everything was i did the self checkout and at that costco which is a different than my normal costco that i go to all the time when you go to the self checkout apparently it's all only cards whereas my costco you can use cash at the self checkout so when i got there and i finished i scanned everything and i was like okay well let me pay i was trying to use the cash option i couldn't i had to use my card okay but had i been in a regular line I would have had to take something back. I would have taken something back. Probably the uh, loaves of bread, because I can wait on that, and something else. Probably the cheddar cheese, okay? But because I used my card, I just went ahead and did it. The grand total was $50.88, okay? So $50.88 plus $38.26, I'm putting it up on the screen here, is a total of $89.14, I think. I did that in my head, so I don't. No, but I calculated it before I got on the camera. So I went over budget, $19.14, I think. Um, so let me tell you what I do with that. Let me tell you what, I, what I'm gonna do now to, to make sure that we still stay on our $400 budget. Since we, I use my card, I still have some cash in here. I have $38 and some change in here. So let me show you what I do. I don't have $38, I have $32 left in here because really since i spent 38 dollars at aldi i really had 32 dollars to spend at costco but i ended up spending 50. so with that said here's how i do my cash envelopes and i'm doing a full-on separate video about managing my cash envelopes on my other channel moms and money so be on the lookout for that um, but let me show you how i track that so when i go to the store i don't put all the cash that i want to spend in there in there I have an idea in my head how much I want to spend based on whatever my grocery budget is and that's what I put in there. I did go over today so that is technically a fail. So here's what I'm going to do. I didn't go over for the month though. So here's what I do here is I just track everything. So all day I spent $38.29 and Costco I spent $50.88. So let's see how much I have for the rest of the month. I have $250.07 left for the entire month. Now to help that next time i'm definitely going to take my credit card out of my purse um, i do use a costco credit card we pay it off in full every month but that's just how what we do um, but for this this um, grocery budget i am trying to use cash so technically this shopping trip was a fail but i haven't failed at the month yet i still got 250 dollars left and we have what two more weeks left in the month of, of January. So I feel like I'm doing okay. My receipts, I like to track and keep in my cash envelope here. Um, but once you put it on your budget tracker, which, you know, if you're interested in these, these are part of my meal planning printables kit. The link for that is in the description box for a couple of bucks, you can create your own. You don't have to do have this though to join the grocery savings challenge. Once you track it though, you can, you know, take the receipts out of there. So. Whew, that is it, girl. I'm feeling all right, though, um, with the things that I got. Uh, I'll probably next week just have to get things for my kids' lunches because we make their lunch every day. They don't buy school lunch. And so that's it. So now, listen, leave a comment down below and let me know how are you doing on this grocery budget savings challenge. Some of you I know have already busted it wide open, but some of you are doing really, really well. Either way, stick to it. If you feel like you failed, it doesn't matter. Still stick to it because every penny counts the amount of money that we're saving by doing this challenge. I know I can tell right now how much I've saved because like buying that box, like I that 
Costco trip would have easily turned into over $200 trip had I been the Gia that's not on this grocery savings challenge. I would have bought myself some cake. I would have bought us some K cups. Oh my gosh, I forgot to get the cereal. No. I'll have to add the cereal in at the end, next time I go to Costco in two more weeks. But um, the old Gia would have just bought, you know, some more meats. I would have bought, you know, some um, K cups, like stuff that's really expensive at the end of the day. And that's what, why I was spending six to $700 a month on groceries. So I, so far I could really see the effects of this and I'm definitely gonna do it for the rest of the year. So that's how you can really see how much cash you have saved. Looking at your budget tracker, tracking to see how much you're, you're spending. And it's a lot of work, but honestly guys, listen, if you're in a season where you need to save or pile up your cash, girl, you gotta do what you gotta do. So anyway, leave a comment down below and let me know how you're doing. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, you can tap my picture up above and you can also check out my previous video right over here and all of my social media platforms all listed down below thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye